Okay. Good morning to all. So in yesterday lecture, we are covered mass flow meter. Good morning to all. So yesterday lecture we are covered mass flow meter. In only two points are remaining in that chapter. This is calories meter. This is one of the type of turbine flow meter and magnetic flow meter. These these are the two types of turbine flow meter. Okay. So in calories flow meter, they are contained tube which is enlarged by a fixed vibration. Means mass flow meter this is one of the also based on the tube vibration when a fluid or gas liquid passes through the tube or mass flow moment will cause the change in tube position and they are converting vibration the tube will twist resulting in the phase shift here when you cause when you passes the fluid in that tube the tube at the tube get vibrated or get some momentum with, uh, with mass of this fluid or liquid. Then we can determine the value of mass flow rate from the flow condition here to determine the mass flow rate with the help of That condition, a unit check by area x means length divided by time into time, area into length means you have to find out the volume. Aniket, Aniket survey, TYB, roll number 43. So mass flow meter is also known as a major flow rate. They have to measure the flow rate of a fluid traveling through the tube. And the mass flow rate is mass of fluid traveling past a fixed point per unit time. They are already discussed in yesterday lecture. Here magnetic flow meters are increasingly taking place of the traditional mechanical flow meter designs. Uh, when the both flow meters measure the flow of liquid in the pipe, that they show the different ways. Okay. So magnetic flow meters calculate the velocity of moving subtracting Faraday's law. Okay. So here we are covered the third unit um, in our subject instrumentation and control instrumentation part is covered okay so say, uh, first section is covered first section is based on the instrumentation and second section is totally based on the control means where they are instru instruments or machineries are used in the industry any industry these instruments which is based on the various principles and control systems okay so our second section is totally based on the control means instrumentation and control so in control system our first topic is second section so our unit number four is introduction of control system 
in that introduction of control system automatic control open loop and closed loop feedback control system modern control system modes of control in that p control pi plus control and pid control then second point is block diagram algebra in that general presentation of a feedback control system transfer function rules of block diagram algebra reducing of block diagram to obtain closed loop transfer function and third part of the of this chapter steady state response transition response system ability stability means root root criteria criteria then say state space representation only introduction not problems okay so write down the syllabus of this second section uh, unit number 4 introduction of control system okay introduction of control system write down the syllabus of introduction of control system unit number 4 automatic control automatic control comma open loop and closed loop open loop and closed loop in bracket feedback control system comma modern control system comma modes of controls modes of controls modes of controls in that p control pi control and pid control modes of control in that p control pi control and pid control next para block diagram algebra in that general representation of feedback control system general representation of feedback control system transfer functions transfer functions rules of block diagram algebra rules of block diagram algebra reduction of block diagram to obtain closed loop transfer function to obtain closed loop transfer function then next para steady state response steady state response then transis transition response then system stability in bracket route criterion bracket complete and last point state space representation state space representation introduction only so this is the syllabus of section second unit number 4 introduction of control system
okay so the content of control system introduction of control system need of control system manual and automatic control system open loop control system closed loop control system and modern control system okay so first point introduction of control system see the block diagram here input process output and there feedback is there means control system is based on the basic four parameter input process output and feedback okay so in control system manages command direct or regulates the behavior of the devices of system using control loop this is control loop okay so control system is one of which can control any quantity of interest in the mechanism or other equipment in order to achieve the desired performance or output okay. means uh you have to uh, you are sitting in room and room temperature and outside the room temperature so you have to maintain room temperature that you are feeling well okay so here example speed automobile two wheeler four wheeler accelerometer speed this is one of the example of the control system so function of the position of the accelerometer then the desired speed can be maintained or design change in speed can be achieved by controlling the pressure on the accelerometer pedal means you apply pressure on accelerometer pedal your vehicle speed is increased and you have to remove accelerator pedal pressure your vehicle speed is reduced means this is one of the example of control system this automobile driving system accelerometer carburetor and engine vehicle constitute a control system means whole automobile system is totally based on the control system in various control system okay so draw this diagram give the heading control system and draw this diagram block diagram input process output and feedback
so write down in control system introduction of control system a control system can control any quantity of interest in a mechanism or other equipment in order to achieve the desired performance or output Okay. Next line. A control system in an interconnection of components. A control system in an interconnection of components connected or related. Connected or related in such a manner. as to command direct or regulate itself or another system itself or another system this is the introduction of control system for example for example consider the driving system of automobile for example consider the driving system of automobile speed of the automobile is the function of speed of the automobile is a function of the position of its accelerometer accelerator full stop and next line the desired speed can be maintained in bracket or a desired change in speed can be achieved in bracket or a desired change in speed can be achieved bracket complete by controlling pressure by controlling pressure on the accelerator pedal on the accelerator pedal okay next point is need of control okay. 
so one of the example of fan see the input 230 volt 50 hertz ac supply this fan system air flow this is our output means this is your this is our instrument fan in that fan you have to input supply given 230 volts 50 hertz ac supply and this fan system works and output is the air flow okay it's the example so control system you have to use control system find out the regulation or speed to maintain the temperature or passing the air flow see the details so the fan blades but without regulate can be system because it can be provided output means fan gives you output as an air flow but if, if you have not used the control system you do not get the desired output okay means you have to not given the input 230 holes AC supply the fan do not rotate at proper way and they do not pass the air flow means output will be not get so that's why any instrument any machines any machinery or any equipment require control system so if you have not given to control system they are not used proper or desired output okay see one example another details in the control system so output is that control system is the basic need or backbone of this any instrument or any machine so also see the heating of air conditioning controlled by the thermostat so in the uh, section first thermostat we are studying so thermostat is used to measure the temperature or control the temperature the diagram display the uh, air conditioning temperature up and down with the help of this control system this example is already studied the speed control of the automobile when you apply pressure on the accelerator pedal your vehicle speed is increased and you have to remove pressure on the accelerator pedal your vehicle speed is reduced okay so this is manual control system and automatic control system this next part is open loop control system and closed loop control system before starting this open loop and close closed loop control system we are going to study the what is the need of control system why control system is required okay so here manual control system is the opening or closing of window for regulating air temperature or air quantity or also activating switches means light uh, switch light switches on off to regulate the illuminate uh, illumination in a room means human activity like controlling the body temperature and heat in the surrounding environment see the diagram Here two description is there body temperature falls and body temperature rise okay so normally body temperature will be in the approximate or consider as a 35 to 40 degree celsius is the body temperature and our room temperature is uh, summer season different room temperature winter season different room temperature current situation room temperature is at uh, about 35 to 40 degrees celsius 
okay so here normal body temperature is 35 to 40 degree celsius huh? exact is 37 degree celsius i think so our blood vessels construct so that they are, the heat is conserved sweat gland do not secrete fluid or shivering in which means involuntary contraction of muscles generate heat which warm the body okay so warming the body means heat is retained then room temperature rises body vessels diet resulting in the heat loss to the environment sweat glands secrete fluid as the fluid evaporates heat is lost from the body okay then heat is lost to the environment means your body temperature is rises okay this is manually manual control system opening or closing the window switching on or switching off the lights and this diagram or this picture shows the automatic control system okay. see the automatic traffic control system here first block diagram is show the automatic traffic control system yogesh avtade still lecture going on why you are placing your roll number here okay second diagram display the vehicle control system in uh, current research current means uh, tesla vehicle is uh, totally based on the iot means internet of things totally automation is there they are also known as driverless cars then here this diagram display the guiding the missiles also manufacturing process is totally based on the robotics manpower is totally re reduced and automation is introduced so that's why there where their automation are used control system is based or control system is required to regulate this or maintain this total process control system is required okay so basic control system is four component is there first one is input second one is output third one is a system feedback system okay so input when means uh, you have to start your room fan so input is required means 230 volt current ac supply is required to start the or rotate the fan input is required then output so output will be get the air flow means this you have to supply input 230 volt or 50 hertz to the fan means system these fans rotate and output will be the air flow okay so basic component of control system is input output and system okay these are the basic component of control system okay so write down the basic component of control system there is no need for write down the needs of need of control okay introduction part will be uh, already written so there is no need to write down the need of control system write down the basic component of control system write down the basic component of control system input first one input in that write down the stimulus or excitations the stimulus or excitation 
apply to a control system apply to a control system from an external source from an external source in order to produce the output is called as input is called as input for example a switch to glow a lamp for example a switch to glow a lamp also draw this block diagram input and the second output the actual response obtained the actual response obtained from a system from a system is called as output for example for example glowing a lamp after switch is made on glowing a lamp after switch is made on and third component is system third component is system right down a system is an arrangement or a combination of different physical component or a combination of different physical components connected or related in such a manner so as to form the entire unit to provide a certain objective Okay.